Hello fiddlers, welcome to day four. This is the day four practice challenge for La Belle Catherine. If you noticed, there was a slight difference in the way I taught the oral version of La Belle Catherine compared to the written version. And if you look at the written version in the B section, there's a triplet that you would play on the, the, on the A note. So what I did was teach the simplified version. Now what I'm going to encourage you to do, if you're feeling comfortable with that rhythm, and it doesn't have to be that fast, try the triplet. exactly the same. You're slurring into those first two eighth notes, F sharp to A, and then play a triplet right after that. So I'll do that again. It just adds a little bit of zip to the playing, and the song is so driven that it fills what we would, as a fiddler, consider a blank space or gosh forbid, a boring space. So you're filling that held note with the decoration. The way I want you to break this down, what I want you to do, if you're not familiar with triplets, or if you're doing them and you want to improve them, if you already play a triplet quite well and you just want to get better and better, more consistent at them, I want you to focus on what in your right hand is instigating that movement. So I just finished doing this exercise for the Cape Breton Fiddler's Welcome to the Shetland Isles, so you can head over there as well and see it. But we're gonna run an A major scale, you're going to play a long held note and then follow it by a triplet. So A, triplet, B, triplet, C sharp, triplet, D, triplet. I find that I instigate my triplets starting with a bent thumb and pressure on the first finger. So da, da. I'm putting pressure on first finger to instigate that movement. I also push it through with my ring finger. I'm feeling a lot of uh, pressure used by the, the ring finger to help lift that bow into the up bow triplet. So try it. See what works for you. See what in your hand is instigating the triplet. Not everybody has the same bow hold. A lot of people use just thumb and first finger. So then you ring finger wouldn't engage. A lot of people push it from the pinky. Mine, as you can see, is tiny. So mine often doesn't reach the bow. So I tend to use my ring finger instead. The whole point of this conversation is for you to, to feel what is instigating that triplet every single time. And then feel through that triplet every time you do it. So you're really practicing mindfully, you're really intentional about that movement. So the triplet doesn't happen by accident, because it's fantastic when it happens by accident, it sounds so good. But then can you do it consistently the second time? So that's why I'm asking you to really be mindful about what in your right hand is instigating the decoration, and then constantly repeat that motion so you can get it to happen every single time. So the exercise sounds like this. <laughs> walk down the scale. As that becomes more and more comfortable, speed it up. Etc. So if that becomes easy, do the two major, two major, two octave A major scale, practicing the triplets, and then go back into the tune and see if you can consistently apply the triplet on the B section. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions or anything giving you a little bit of hassle, send me a note at modelfiddler at gmail.com. If you've recorded yourself, go ahead and post it up on the Facebook Fiddlers page. It's a very safe, warm, and welcoming environment, and we only support each other. So I just want to be really clear. If you decide to post your video, you will only feel a load of support there. Thanks so much.